So one of the things that you always look for when you come to a Macworld Expo is the booth that has, you know, the small booth that has a lot of people around it. And that, one of those is Real Mac Software, uh, and they have a program called Rapid Weaver, which is a great web design program. And we're here with Ben, uh, ben Council, is that correct? Uh, and he's going to show us a real quick uh, demo of what you can actually do with, with Rapid Weaver. So take it away, Ben. Cool, thanks, Jim. Okay, so we just um, quickly run through the basics of what you can actually do with Rapid Weaver. So when we first start up, we get the main interface here, and we just start adding pages in the bottom left-hand corner, and up pops, it, up, up pops a sheet, and you get a whole list of different page types that you can choose from. So you have blogs, contact forms, movie albums, photo albums, etc. Can you I'll go quickly show us how easy it is to make a blog? Yeah, sure. No problem. Um, just select blog from the page type, hit add, and it'll add it to the left-hand side here. So these are all of our pages. On the right-hand side, you get all of your editing and preview area. Um, I'll just quickly rename this as blog. Just type in blog, just double-click the name. Um, just start adding blog entries simply by hitting the plus button here, putting a title. Um, you can either start t typing text in this area or you can just drag and drop uh, text that you've pre-made and images. Um, if I preview that straight away, you'll see it's in the default Apple style template and it's created um, a one blog entry for us. Really simple. If we go back into edit, we can start adding more entries. Just hit plus and just put title in. Again, I'll just drag that text straight off the desktop. Um, if we go back into preview, you see with them you've got two blog entries. So it's made that all for us. Um, we can do some more advanced stuff with the blogs like RSS feeds, podcasting, commenting, uh, categorizing, everything like that. So Ben, can you show us how easy it is to change themes in Rapid Weaver? Yeah, sure. Um, when you're in preview mode, just hit the themes button at the top here and you get a theme draw pop out. Just scroll down, see which one you like, select it and it will apply that theme to your content. Um, and you can change that theme at any time you like. Just keep on scrolling. We've got a couple of new ones in this version. Um, again, that just applies it to your content. So it's really simple to change the design of, of your site. Great. So uh, can you show us briefly uh, some of the new things that will be available when the new release 3.5 comes out? Sure, no problem. Um, what we've added is uh, permalinks on blogs. So whereas before on 3.2, each blog um, was styled sort of off-site, um, it now actually creates its own page. So you can then link to each individual blog post and it will display just that post. Um, also, new things in 3.5, when you drop an image in, on the image inspector when you double click the image, um, you can add drop shadows, so it's really simple, just click the shadow and you can edit that to 10 uh, on the offset and apply the blur and different colours and stuff like that. Um, we've also added um, a movie inspector, so that now allows you to actually um, control whether the uh, play and pause buttons are displayed, whether it's autoplay, the file names, and everything to do with your movie as well. Um, as I showed you quickly earlier, you also got a few new themes that are a bit more graphical, so they're going to be um, something a bit out of the ordinary, really nice themes that we're going to include in the next version. Um, it's it's uh, Mac Intel ready, so it'll work on the new iMacs, it'll work on the new MacBooks. Um, we've got a visual table editor, um, I'll just think as I go along here. Uh, table editor, so you just go up to format, hit table. Um, it's just a visual editor, so you can add as many rows as you like, as many columns as you like, change the colors, borders, alignments, anything you want, basically. It's like a HTML tables, um, but you don't have to type the table tags in. It does it all visually for you. So um, when do you expect Rapid Weaver 3.5 to be released? Um, I Hopefully we should have it out in a couple of months, um, but we'll have to go through a few beta testing programs and then we'll see how that progresses and then we'll have a final version out. So uh, Ben, one other question that I know some people may be interested in, I know yeah. I am, is how, uh, how did Rapid Weaver get started? Can you tell us, tell us the story? Dan started uh, 
doing an application called Aquamatic. Uh, must be, I don't know, maybe five years ago now. Um, what it basically did was just created buttons, like Button Builder does now, but um, they were very Apple style when the Aqua style first came out. So you could, you know, make it as big or resize it and stuff. Um, and then you got, uh, you got developing that a bit further and it went on to Button Builder. Um, and at that point it allowed users to actually export the buttons onto a website. And people started saying, well, how can I add content to that? I want to add, I've got my buttons, but I can't add any content. Um, so he went on and he built Navbar Builder. <laughs> uh, Navbar Builder is basically navigation for your website and you could add a little bit of content. Pretty simple, like couldn't really do anything with it. Just add some text. Um, we then went on from Navbar Builder to expand on that and allow people to really sort of add um, different types of content. Um, and Rapid we've just sort of built, been built upon from there. Um, and the last two years is sort of development time for this current version. So, so Rapid Weaver is a culmination of all of these programs that in the past sort of existed separately? We still got Button Builder available at the moment and that does your buttons for like FileMaker and multimedia programs but um, people wanted to expand upon just having buttons on a web page so that's when we did Navbar Builder and then we've moved on from that to Rapid Weaver. So. Okay. Ben, thanks a lot for your time. Hey, uh, if we could just get a real quick shot of Dan the man too, since everyone he he looks he looks a lot different. He looks a lot. Di hey, Dan, just wanted the world to see what you look like in person because you look a lot different than your little teeny icon on the on the forum page. I'm sure there'll be lots of pictures posted of me after after the expo. So cool. Thanks, guys.